Hi, I'm Charles C. Parker with the Roanoke Public Libraries, and today I'm going to be reading a dancing book. It's called Hilda Must Be Dancing. And while we're reading, I need you to listen and remember the dances that we do in this book, because at the end I have a special guest who's going to help us with our dance moves. So let's get started and remember to watch out for the dance moves. Hilda Must Be Dancing. Hilda Hippo loved to dance. And so each day she practiced hard. She twisted and turned and whirled and twirled, dressed in her favorite leotard. She'd spin a pretty pirouette, then leap and land on tippy toe. She tangoed oh so gracefully and squared danced with a do si do. And while she danced in utter bliss, it sounded quite a light like this. Kaplump, 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 crash, crash, smash. Thumpity bump, 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 boom, bang, boom. The jungle floor would shake and quake. A tidal wave would fill the lake. Her friends would shout, for goodness sake, Hilda must be dancing. They all hoped Hilda's hobby was a stage that soon would pass. But after one loud shaky year, they knew this phase would last. And last and last. While Hilda danced flamenco in her favorite pair of heels, banana fell in gooey heaps shaking from their peels. Swish a swish a clap clap, swish a swish a clap clap, jump jump jump. Hilda must be dancing, cried the monkeys from the trees. Perhaps she'd take up knitting if we ask her pretty please. Hilda tried to sit and knit. She didn't like it, not one bit. The yarn got tangled, so she quit. I think I'll stick to dancing. She rumbled and she sumbled in her favorite flower skirt. She skipped across the crowded plains and kicked up clouds of dirt. Hippa hippa bounce bounce, hippa hippa thump thump thump. Hilda must be dancing, said the rhinos in distress. If she only tech up singing, then she wouldn't make a mess. Hilda tried to hum and croon, but found she couldn't hold a tune. So she got tired of it very soon. I think I'll stick to dancing. At the favorite water hole, she boogied in her disco pants. She muddied up the river and she trampled down the plants. Shaka shaka boom boom, shaka shaka bump. Hilda must be dancing. Well, the water buffalo, if she only take up swimming, we might get some peace, you know. And so, Hilda wallowed by the shore. She never felt so grand before. Now here's a hobby I adore. Water ballet dancing. In her favorite two-piece suit, she whirled and she twirled with flair. Best of all, the ground stayed still. She floated light as air. And while she swam and danced in bliss, it sounded quite a lot like this. Ka-plomp, plomp, plomp. Donk, swish, glubity glub, glub, glub. A big crowd gathered at the shore. They cheered and clapped and called for more. Her friends cried out, Hooray, encore, Hilda, keep on dancing. And so she did. So Hilda found her dance moves in the water. So we're gonna practice some of her dance moves that she did. And today I have a special guest with me. I have Pedro here from Southwest Virginia Ballet. Hi, Chelsea. Thank you for having me no, again. thank you for coming. And that's a love, Hilda, because yes. you know we all the first basic movement we read last time. We did. And that can apply with all this dancing for Hilda. Yes. Yeah, so we want to be better dancers than Hilda. No, so. it was so so enjoyable <laughs> because everybody can be dancing, you know, in the kitchen and the living room, especially now you stay at home. So we can be yes. put in the music and start grooving. That's so much fun. Let's now, go. Now, very important. And this, the first part where she was thinking about the jumping, okay. you know, it's, we always as a dancer and any athlete, we have a rule. Okay. Yeah, you bend, bend, you stretch, and you, you stretch. bend, and you see, and you bend in the end, so gotcha. you don't bounce. Okay. So we can do bend. Straight and bend. Awesome. Ooh, you see? And the knees. And the, the knees. knees. So yes. you don't bounce and so you don't make any noise. And all the time Ooh. you land in the ball of your feet. Okay. Toe, bow, heel. Yes, you don't know heel because it's now will bends your head. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And one of the things I was hearing about uh, Hilda was about turning. Yes. You know, turning for dancers, we use the spotting. 
Yes, okay. with your eyes, you spot something and you turn quick and you go back again to that spot. So that's a good. Okay. And you can go clockwise or counterclockwise. So you can do boy, both ways. So watch Mr. Pera because okay. Charlie's connected with the mic. So that will be hard for her to do it. I can't so go there we go. Turn around and look. So that's very important. <laughs> and to practice, you can do like a clock. Yes, okay. you can go one wall, next wall, next wall, next wall. And now you go halfway. Halfway and a full turn. And that's it. All the time you see, we practice the landing too and the turning. <laughs> now, and I love Hilda with the flamenco because oh. all the time they clap. But you know, we can learn something with the hands of the flamenco okay. hands, the dancers. Stretch your arms, okay? Start with the little finger, second, three, four, five. Rotate your wrist and let it go. Oh. You see? What we learned that's like you grab an apple, you eat it. Mm. Mm. And you throw, but make sure you compost that because that helps for the earth to, gotcha. to compost. You see that? That's a good one. So we can one. do the other hand. One, two, three, four, and roll. Mm -hmm. Nice. But it was a lot of attitudes, you know? Okay. Very proud. You very need to be proud. very proud. Okay. And we go one, two, three, and four. And afterwards, you can try with both hands. One, two, three, and up and over. Yeah. Or you can do one up and down. You can do that. Oh, I yes. like that one. I like that one. Mm -hmm. You like that? Yes. yes. I love it. And you can do any pose you want. Flamenco. Yeah, flamenco is a very nice rhythm. Yes, guitar and clapping yeah. and stomping like Hilda was doing. Oh, uh, yes. Hilda was stomping. Another thing too, Hilda love is the Latin. The Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you can do, roll the hands. Roll it. And you step one side and the next side. And the right, yes, oh, work it, Charles. I love it. Yes, <laughs> go around. Yes, yeah. all that stuff. And you can go around. Yes, and deliver it. But make sure you don't kick anything out. All right. Yes, <laughs> that's very important. Oh, and yeah. Saturday Night Fever. Yes, that's yes, my favorite. Yes, yes, like John Travolta. Yes. <laughs> that's my favorite. Groove. Yes. Big yes. Time. yes. And now oh. in the last part, she was swimming. That's the yes. reason she enjoy a lot because of hippo. Yes, I love the water. <laughs> but you know, you need to make sure if you think about, you know, freestyle. You freestyle. You can do like you can be dancing. Yes, back. <laughs> back swim, yes. And the butterfly, you can go and you can move your hands. Yes, you can do that very much so. Yes. That's a lot of dancing. A lot of dancing moves. Move. Yeah. Yes. That was perfect. So. If you listen to us reading Hilda Must Be Dancing and you practice our dance moves that Pedro Always. taught us, you can boogie down in your kitchen, in your backyard, anywhere. Exactly. So yes, well thanks for watching us today and I hope you enjoyed Pedro from Southwest Virginia Valley and I hope you learned some moves. Thanks, see you next time. Bye.